mimic one, a scalable model recipe for general purpose dexterity. In this work, we introduce a diffusion-based model recipe for highly dexterous humanoid hand control, with an emphasis on sample efficiency and smooth, fine motor action inference. We also introduce a novel humanoid hand design, a scalable teleoperation system and data collection protocol, together with empirical insights into model scaling, generalization, and self-correcting behaviors. We start by introducing the 16 DOF Mimic Tendon-Driven Hand, inspired by human biomechanics capable of robust and compliant interaction in real-world settings. We then introduce a oper teleoperation system allowing for smooth and fast human data collection with either a glove-based system or an Apple Vision Pro device. In order to retarget from human poses to robot poses, we use a key vector-based approach, optimizing the distances between fingertips and the palm. Our model recipe involves a unit diffusion policy in which an action chunk is iteratively denoised conditioned on past observations. For end effector poses, for both actions and observations, we use a relative representation such that each pose is represented as relative to the last observed pose. For joint angles for the hand, we use an absolute representation. We also introduce a data collection protocol that boosts success rates in generalization from 5% all the way to 93%. This involves collecting data for a large diversity of task configs and backgrounds. We also deliberately collect self-correction trajectories in which the operator corrects mistakes that are common during policy inference. This massively boosts performance for downstream tasks. We evaluate the approach first on a simple pick and place task on a bakery item. This involves picking and placing a bread roll into a box. We are able to train a policy generalizing to different backgrounds and multiple positions of the bread roll. The policy is also robust to errors and to deliberate disturbances. And it's able to easily recover from these states. Our second evaluation involves a task for bottle sorting, emulating a recycling use case, in which these bottles have to be placed into a crate. We see that even in the case of failed placements, the policy is able to try and try again for self-correcting behaviors. Finally, we test precision with a policy involving battery insertions, in which a battery has to be inserted into a slot. We see that even in highly noisy scenarios, the hand is able to reorient itself to perform a precise insertion.